so a gospel that we had at Sunday Mass not long ago. And uh, I focused on the last line of the gospel. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. You know, God's, God is just. And God does not expect more from one than, than that which can be expected of, of, of that person. But God does expect from us all that we are capable of. We, we have been given this incredible gift of life and likeness to, Christ, likeness to God. We are, we are the spiritual beings endowed with existence itself, rational existence, with the capacity to love and to give and to share and to sacrifice. And as I, I've said many times, and, and hopefully forming a kind of way of seeing the world and way of seeing yourself that's consistent with the church. This life is a precious gift, but we're called to be stewards of this gift and we can waste it. And we can beat the maidservants and beat the men servants and just eat and get, drink and get drunk and pay no mind to God or the dignity that we are called to. And there will be consequences for that. And Jesus can't make it any more clear that our actions, that our, that our life, that our goals, that our fidelity, that our faithfulness, these things are necessary. And our judgment, if you will, should start with ourselves and take it an accounting of the gifts that God has given to us. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much. I shudder at that. With the heaping piles of spiritual wealth that have been entrusted to me. Much will be required of those entrusted with much and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. And again, is our Lord trying to scare us? I think he's trying to just give us a little nudge out of our complacency. Out of a complacency that would say, it doesn't matter how we live. Now, no one would ever say that, would they? No, of course we would. Of course, that's, that's our default condition. <laughs> I'm not responsible, I don't want to be held responsible, but our Lord is saying this. And, and particularly, again, back to my own station in life, particularly back to Peter. Peter, is this for everybody? Or, or Peter says, Lord, is this for everybody? Or just for us? And so Jesus says it's for everybody. But to those whom has, a lot has been given, a lot will be demanded. And to those who more has been given, even more will be demanded. And so let's pray today that as we have been entrusted with 10 talents, five talents, one talent, if we have been given 10 gold coins or five gold coins or one gold coin, whatever it is that God has given to us, we would be good stewards of the gifts that have been given to us. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. And while I say that gospel should shake us out of our complacency, it is one of, it's one of those Rosetta Stone gospels for me that helps me make sense of the whole thing that God judges us according to who he knows we are, to the life that he knows, to the genetic makeup that we have, that our family background that we have, that the gifts that have been, that's how God judges us. And to those whom much has been given, what? Much is gonna be expected. And to those whom more has been given, even more will be demanded. Let us be good stewards of the gifts given to us.